Today is a special day as we've got a legend on our channel. We're going to play two seven point matches against the man, against the legend, who doesn't need any introduction, against Will Snellings. Will has been uh, playing backgammon for so many years. He's been ranked number one 20 years ago for so many years. And he just got back, well, not just got to back to the game, as uh, he's been back for a few years already. Uh, we met for the first time, I think it was the last year or the year before in Monaco. And he's a very nice guy and he is just on the top of his game even now. And I would say that he may be in top three or top five best players in the world. So we'll be very, very happy, very honored to play him today. Two seven point matches with normal time. So let me carry the game and let's see how we can uh, how we can challenge him. We are currently ranked number three. We haven't been playing for a while and we got somehow to the third place, which so uh, it would be kind of nice to win, of course, but well, um, we will see, we will see. We will actually be the ones who will try to do the challenge and be at the level of Will's play as uh, Will is a ex very, very excellent player. So let's see if we can start. Let me just text him. All right. So there we go, otherwise everything is going to be standard, we will just play uh, with commentary, I will discuss usually my moves and see what happens. Just check if we are recording and yes we are. Well, let's go. So double three is pretty standard, just going up now we made his three point is just not that valuable now so usually just make the four point anchor just coming down he's escaped now this is becoming a holding game since we're behind we're just staying on the four point we are not moving forward what that's something what we would do if he was still at our board and we would be up in the race then that would be the time when we would just go and step up and upgrade our anchor now we need to stay when we are down in the race because that's our plan to catch to catch him, to irritate him and cause him as much trouble as we can. 5-2, um, so 13-11, this is, uh, I think, a good risk-reward scenario. I mean, it's 6 shots, so it's uh, it's a lot. Okay, anyway, double fives, we're getting ahead. We're up in the race after the roll, so there is no question but to just escape. There is no value at staying since uh, we will just be the ones getting in trouble. Uh, since it's a typical race, there's not gonna be much, much dis many decisions. Um, usually, I just, I don't know. I mean, I just bring it down. The only thing I'm concerned is just bringing, be bringing checkers on a six point, five point, four point, and that's basically the only thing what's happening. Yeah, I mean, you never want to be spending any time, like literally any time, on these moves. You're just putting your checkers anywhere you want. However, it suits you. You just play them based on the basic idea and that's crossovers 654 most putting them the most effective way and yeah i mean i can do this i can do this just doesn't matter just doesn't matter as long as you don't go against not the rules but against some ideas then it's all good this seems like an easy take yep very much easy take uh just nine pips difference with this you can use any formula, you can use anything what suits you, but everything will just say double take. Uh, seems like we're gonna lose this game, uh, so we are gonna be off to not the good start, but not much to do in a, in a race. Alright, maybe we're just happy not to lose the game. Alright. I can resign. I don't know. I mean, I'm never well, basically almost never resigning on Galaxy. I just, uh, I just click. 
as fast as I can. Okay. So 0 2, that means at this score, I already have to be a little bit more aggressive with the cube. Uh, especially in gamish positions, not that much in races, racing positions. There actually, it would be the opposite. And uh, yep, 5 2. So I think I can do any of this stuff. I mean, I can step up with the 2 from the 23 point, or I can just build the board. Um, I'm not really. I think 13864 and just stepping up is very close. Same as slotting two points. Um, I think actually I've had this recently and yeah, again, it's just all same. So it doesn't matter what we do. Uh, six one. There is actually a question whether to slot. Oh, okay. I actually did not see that. This is a nice, powerful move. I was thinking, but yeah, I've got two blocks in my board, so it actually makes makes sense. I'm not sure if I would have. Wow, I would have to re, uh, reconsider that, as I was just looking at thirteen seven eight seven, and then I was just considering six five. So I haven't had a chance to look at this move basically. Uh, but we're moving on three two. I guess. Well, we don't want to get stuck to the two point anchor, do we? Like we can make that three point any time. So. I think I will just anchor number the three uh, with the idea making the three point anytime we want, so it would not bring us any value now. And I will be just getting stuck, which I never like. Double sixes again, we're getting even back in the race, so definitely can be escaping. Nothing else plays well. Four one, so he plays 14 10. Yeah. Up in the race, no really reason to slot. I guess that would be just such a good three for me if I could hit him. This is just a nice attacking structure. We just he's gonna make that five point anyway, yeah. So no reason to slot. This is like a good, usually a very good thing, very good sign, yeah. Like you're creating the attacking structure, so you don't even need to slot the point when it hurts you. So definitely a good decision. Double fours just running up in the race, clearly getting to the cube territory. 2-5. I know I'm behind, but I don't think I can stay on the 23 as what's going to happen. He's just going to make a 5.4 point and I'm just going to die slow. So maybe you're just trying to escape. I think that's the idea. I mean, what's the reason to stay here? There's just no reason, I guess. I mean, I just get there. I could, I just be smashed, yeah? Six pips up. He's uh, really six pips up, which is at zero zero. That would be a cube, I guess. Uh, now I think it's wise not to cube since you're five away. Three six. Well, similar decision. Although now there could be some merits to stay. So if I if I run, I'm ten pips behind. So I get hit more like half of the time, where I will not feel comfortable and I will just lose. I mean, six pips, I mean, realistically, I will lose six pips, which can be valuable because this can turn into the race easily. And if I get missed, well, I'm not even happy because I'll be just behind anyway. So maybe I'll just wait and try to irritate, I guess. I mean, I could slot the four. I don't really care. 13-7 on 10 to four. But I think I should be staying there. And it's not just because I'm behind in the race, yeah, because if I was behind in the race by four or five pips, I guess I'd be just going, yeah, because as the position before, I just didn't have a reason to stay. Now I've got reasons to stay. I'm on a three point. It makes sense. I don't get hurt that much. So that's the evaluation, how I'm looking at the position. Although five, four just seems like a three point, I guess. By the way, I think... Well, it's so tricky from Will's point of view about the cube because, again, 0-0, zero, zero, very easy cube, right? But he's five away. And that's, that tells us one thing, and that my take point is very low. So, yeah, like, he doesn't want to give me easy decision. So, I think, I just, I mean, I know that I like his, uh, like his thinking and the decision he's making. It's getting worse and worse for us, and it's getting worse. We are 19 pips 
behind and this is a very powerful cube but I mean because of the score I think I just take I mean what can really happen I mean can I lose a game and of course I can I've got just one blood back but can I cause him some trouble even actually just feels like I don't know I mean the score, uh, yeah I'm 19 pips behind but I've got such a nice board, like if I manage to hit I've got super powerful EQ, I like that. Hmm. I mean not really sure about just looking at the structure, how the numbers will play, it doesn't have to be nice, I mean it's not like I'm getting a shot right away, but um, Definitely got some chances. I don't think I want to be leaving two bots back because, well, just look if he rolls 6 2, 6 3, he's just playing from the 13, right? And I want to be lucky enough to hit that fly shot, which I wouldn't be able to do, which would not be powerful if I've got two bots in my board. So, yeah. Uh, no reason for me to go to the 5 point now. I'm not really in, I'm not really thrilled about escaping. I'd be just getting smashed there, so. I just don't want to be smashed, yeah. With no, no, no real, uh, with no real reward, when being 15 pips behind. I mean, it's not like I'm thirsty to get to the race, right? Five one. So yeah, again, literally, you can do anything. You can slot the point. You can just play this. I mean, again, just nothing in there. The worst thing you can do is spend time on this. Well, I mean, theoretically, uh, the tip, whether to slot or not, uh, there's of course many factors. Usually the main one is um, when whether you can get a shot or not, yeah? In this situation, whether I can get a fly shot or not. Hmm. I guess it will not kill me when I just make that 7. Having 5 blocks, I mean... Don't really want to analyze this position, but I don't think I can lose anything by doing this. 5-3, I'm just slotting it. Well, not a shot just yet, but 1-2. One, 1-2, two. One, two, 3, 4. If we wait long enough, we can actually get lucky. With 5 checkers, that would be like a gin if we manage to hit now. So let's see if we manage to roll what? It's actually a decision, because if he hits on the ace, then if I miss, then two big numbers will leave a double shot. If he just plays two off, which seems like it's a correct idea, looking at it, yeah, this, that seems like a correct idea, just to take two off, because then you are never leaving a double shot, a bunch of your numbers will play well, so that seems like that should be the thing, because of the double shot, because of that potential of double shots, I don't think it's good to hit on the ace. It's just... I'd be surprised. And I'd be over-evaluating or missing something there. If it if the hit on the ace was correct. Just seems like two off is the, is the idea. You can never leave a double shot. Mo so many numbers just will play nice. And yeah. Okay. We could really use the hit now. Losing 0 4 is no fun. Yeah, he decides. Let's see. Okay. Well, it's gonna be no fun. It's 0 4. We need to get back soon. Uh, at 0 4, you're basically cubing. Anytime you have a dangerous market loser, yeah. I mean, anytime you can just win a game in one, two, I mean, with some sequences, you just cube. You don't want to waste it. Like, you're losing 0 4 anyway. Don't be afraid, yeah. That's like the worst thing you can do. 
in in a match play in tournaments where you just play against a strong player and you just miss the cube especially when you're trailing uh, with 5-4 when i'm trailing a lot i like to play two down which works out now perfectly as i get blitz i'm never touching the back checkers after his double fives i'm just focusing on building the board that's we established in so many videos positions of the day that that's like abc for us now 5-4 huh i guess you just run all the way to the 15 uh this is always the biggest concern when you play double fives 13 to 3 twice that um hang on do i have a cube i don't think so yep uh when you play 13 3 with double fives at the beginning the biggest concern is your two back checkers because then very easily you can get disconnected so that was definitely a good play still no cube 6 4 hmm well, never touching the back checkers, but now the game has changed. I don't think I can do something like this, even though I'd love to. I'd love to, but if I get hit, it's not good. If I don't get hit, he's making a 5-point or 4-point. What do I hope for? I mean, what's this? If I do this, I'm controlling the outfield, it seems okay. Sure, he's about to make the 5 or a 4, but it's okay. So, I think this is a good decision. I mean, probably not a difficult decision. At least I hope. 5 3. So, this feels like a time to step up because if you don't step up, you're gonna get primed. And 5. Then there's a question whether to hit on the ace. And this is a difficult problem which I want to leave up to Will because I'm not sure what I would have played. Hmm, that's actually very interesting and I kind of like that. I mean, the idea of not going under the gun so you can be building points, that's just super powerful. Uh, they can be close, these decisions. I still don't think I've got a cube. Even if I roll 6-2. I mean, I've talked about the thing that I don't want to be missing cubes. That's like the worst thing to do, but this just doesn't seem... With being behind in a race, it's not like if I roll 6-4, it's a market loser. Yeah. Making the board is perfect. I don't think I'm doing this. Hmm. I mean... Should we just play normal and not overthink anything? I guess we should. At this score, it's kind of interesting as I can get the cube and if he dances, maybe it can be interesting, but no way. It's just so weak. Yeah. Aces improved the position a lot. Deuce again. Double deuces never loses. Well, the, <laughs> the problem... <laughs> Is this guy this bot because we just don't want to leave him a shot I mean it's just we're dead and now I don't see any reason why not to hit on the ace like what can we do I mean what's this doing I mean nothing I mean he can escape he can all the deuce he can make the four he can do anything let's put some pressure and put him on the bar and let's see how that turns out I guess dances so I've definitely got some market losers, but at the same time, I've got a huge problem in the back. So, I still don't think it's a cube. I mean, it's like 50-50 position. Huh? Nope. Tricky. 6-4. Uh, I'll be definitely considering here the play, which doesn't leave that many shots. Because this one, sure, it's nice, but 5-1-5-2, 3-1-3-2, 8 shots to leave which will like kill me, I don't like that. So, this is four, basically the same thing, I mean, same amount of builders, I like that. This is two, but, I mean, it's not bad, but, uh, what else is there? I mean, it's actually not that bad. The three is duplicated, so, Uh, 
I mean, this would be like an experiment to play this. It makes some kind of sense. It leaves least shots. I've still got two checkers. Okay, let, let's just try to play. Maybe I've missed something. But we get rewarded for our experiment, at least for now. You just covered the 9 to 5, I believe. Yup. Double force hits. That's the start. I don't think I'm making the 5. I mean, what am I saying if I do this? Just escape, please. I don't think so. This seems okay. I mean... Not 100% sure about that play, but... Made sense again. I'd like to put the pressure. 5, 4, slot it. Slot it, miss it. Doesn't work. Backgammon is not easy, there are always complications. 1, 6, okay, so now our, our plan is our, our plan, our hope. I mean, we cannot really make up some plan now. Our hope is to just save the game. This is a too good situation where we just can't win the game. Um, yeah, will we just try to play on? Will not double because he's just playing for too good now. And yeah, there's not going to be any danger for him since we will b break our, our break, not break up with the board break out our board and yeah so even if we somehow manage to hit him in the future he just doesn't care he will not care four one this is a four that's forced and i just don't like to get point on now so this should be the play double three is interesting i guess you just make the four hitting on the ace i don't think you want that yeah oh this is great Seems like we will save the gammon at the same time. Well, even though it seems like we will save the gammon, we'll just be still free rolling as he like can't lose the game unless some crazy things are gonna happen. Still playing for the gammon. Now we just go. Yeah, this is this like a borderline too good, I guess, double pass. So what should be the thinking about too good if we should talk in theory? It's now the bad sequences, bad things, what can happen is 6-4. That's the only thing what bad can happen. The good things were like double threes, double ones, and double fours and so on, which would actually win will win will the gammon. So very reasonable still to play for too, for too good. I believe that's the right decision. That was the right decision. Now there's just too many things. Of course I pass. And here we go to 0 5. Zero 5. Again, we will not get the cube in as we'll just make the anchor very early in the game. But if we manage to turn it into the holding game when we are actually favorites, that would be that would be nice. This score is tricky because now we actually don't want to get the cube in, so I will not be aggressive with the cube anymore. As as I mentioned so many times that now the give, giving the cube, having the cube somewhere actually benefits the leader. 4-1 doesn't make a difference what I do. I can just do... I can do anything. I don't know. I hope I, I hope Will is not leaving a shot. If, if that's the case, I should have made a 3-point, but... Yeah. So, comparing the two boards, we're not in a good shape. If this was a beauty contest, I don't think we would win it. But fortunately, it's not. Fortunately, it's a backhammon game to 7 points when we are losing 0 5. Yeah. Yeah, this is that trick, the tricky thing which I don't like. Um, luckily enough, I've played the Blunder Challenge where I've had a similar decision and I. I think this should be, <laughs> this is like the same spot. Uh, oops, I don't think I'm hitting like this. This is just what it gets me. I'm just gonna do this. If you watch the Blunder Challenge, I think it was Blunder Challenge number nine or number eight. I can't recall now which one, but I know that I had 
the same decision with 5-1 and the position looked like the same. And yeah, I just overthought it before. I don't want to overthought it now and make the wrong play. What do I do? Yeah. Double six, not good. 13 point loses its value. I mean, it doesn't lose its value, but I'm not gonna kill the checkers. We are ready. We are ready for the shot. We can just hope and we can just pray. Six, one, all right, five. Well, do I want to get some blocks? Should I do this even? Hmm. Interessante. So there are many questions. I'm just going to make some play as I feel like it's close. Whatever. And the moment of truth. Oh. <laughs> well, now I don't feel comfortable. All right. Should I queue? What, what doesn't cover? 4-2 covers, 4-3 misses, so I'm just not gonna bother and just queue. Double 4 would cover, so 4-3 would be the only... Hmm. Well, theoretically we could have had some more decisions if we just closed it out and just play for PR, but that's not the concern, like we are playing the best, best game now. And this is a queue. This is finally the thing we were looking for, where opponent, where we've got the advantage, where we've got nice board, when opponent is split, this is what we've been waiting for, this is the moment where if we roll double sixes, double fives, these kind of, these kind of fun things, we can just win the gammon, that's why we are here. Alright. I really like these things and giving this giving these cues is so important because you can see sure your market losers hang on your market losers is just like double sixes, double fives, double fours, but it's going to be repeating every single time, every roll you will have to have these rolls until your opponent makes the anchor. So you are threatening your opponent a lot. I'm just going for it, I just don't care. I mean, if there was any other play, I just I just don't care. I just hit, I fight, I go for the gammon, I want to close the four point, and I just go bananas. 3-6, you... So, keeping the anchor, that's the key. Now the question is whether to play 9-2-3 or 13-7. I kind of I think I like 13-7 better, as that would give me, like, the 5 prime if get missed. Don't think 3 point get that much value, but yeah, probably it's close. Four, yeah, no reason to leave shots. Nice block there. I think I'm just gonna play from the back. I mean, if I play from the back, some fives, they do some fives play, like five two plays really bad. I don't know what I play with. Oh, I've got not that much time. This way, fives play okay. The difference there. I just play. Sure, if I roll five two, it's my mistake. Okay. We just need to avoid some sixes. We just need to avoid that. Still, okay, now we at least can play the 5-2, hopefully we can play anything. The thing I was considering whether to clear from the back or clear the 8 point was that my 5s, I mean, I had to look at 5s, how they play, because I had 6s going out, so I needed to redistribu redistribute my, my rolls, right? Like, 6s were okay, but how about 5s? So that was my concern, that's why I looked at 5-2, as 5-2 was the only thing, I hope, the only thing which just played not good for me. Well, this is a question, as if I do this, he's just escaping with one checker and I cannot do anything. This is not nice, but 
it just makes sense. Like this is my asset now. I know it's killing the checker and all other all other things, but it just feels right to keep him like that. Keep the five prime as long as possible. Now let's go. Oh damn it. We really need to consider this. This is the this is the other option. He's got a lot of wastage, so oh god. If we do this. If he rolls a 3, we still got a problem. If he rolls a 6, we lost the game. Jesus, I don't like this decision. Alright, um... Because of that wastage, I just did this, but... I don't know. That's just the instinct, I mean... The that thing, hang on, one, two, three, four. Um, the problem with 6332, what I've had, where I would leave a shot and hit him basically, even though the race was similar, the problem I've had was that I would not be winning the game for sure if I get missed. So that was like a red thing there, which, a red alert, which I was looking at. And yeah, I mean, just quick evaluation didn't seem right to leave that, but I may be wrong there. Alright, if it's going to be 3-5, 4-way, 2-way, we're going to have some fun. We're going to have some fun. We will try to get the cube early in and just go for it like we did now. Just fight. We will not, we won't even look at other, other moves. Yeah? I mean, we will, just, we will just play. We will just try to blitz, win, and that's it. Of course, I'm joking because if it will not make sense, I will, I'm not going to do that. But if at least something suggests that I should do it, we're just going to do it. Alright, six two standard. Let's do it. Left cube. Basically if it was anything but four three three two double four, we're cubing. Ah damn it, that's three two. <laughs> um it's probably not, but I mean, the thing is, I really can't afford to lose, to miss these to miss cubes at all here. So, what I will try to do is actually get him off the anchor again. Not sure at all if it's right. Probably it's not, but it will have. I mean, we can have some fun here. This way, at least, we can have some fun. We can give him some difficult decisions. This is what I just like to do. It can be some kind of mistake, but now, well, if he doesn't even hit, then why wouldn't we do that, right? If he hits, then we will have more complicated game. Of, I mean, not saying that it will work or that it's good against Will, but I just like doing this, these things. Two. Let's irritate him. Let's go. Let, let's just go there and irritate. We need we need some control. I mean, we could have played 13-7 and tried to just blitz this, but... Can this be a play? Let's just let's just try to keep this one, keep this one in. I never understand why always when we are commentating we are short on time because I think that I just make moves instantaneously, but <laughs> I guess I'm not. I mean, the proof is that I'm not. Double four. It seems like just a five point. You can do nine point and seven point, which I really like because yeah, I like that. You create the attacking structure. You make the five point later on. Oh, sh damn it! Yeah, we need to think and we need to think fast. I don't think this is good. I mean, it can be, but um, okay. We need to do something. We are always short on time. I don't know why, but all right. This is a good draw for us. Gives us a chance. Gives us a chance for the gamut. If, if we just throw a few times well, we can be in a very good shape. This is what we wanted, you know, volatile game, volatile positions. That's why we... That's why we made that play with 13-9. It's just... This is fun. 
This is fun. This is where the mistakes can be done. This is what we like. Volatility. Alright, 4-1. Oh, damn it. Oh, wow. This is tough. This is tough. Um, hmm. I know I could make the anchor. And at the score, I would care about losing the game. And I would probably do that. But here, we're just all in, we're escaping now. 2, 3, 4, please. Uh, sure. I'm not making the anchor, I'm trying to come out. I'm trying to make the 5 point anchor. I'm not satisfied with anything else. Let's hit another one. Let's hit the third guy back. Oh, 3, 4, not good. Not good. We need to let him play. We need to let him play. We need to let him crash. 6, 4 just makes the deuce. Oh, that's great for us. We just can't roll bad. One, two, perfect. Perfect roll. Three, six. Oh, amazing. Love this position. Oh, no. This is gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough. Oh, there's the five. One more five. Double fives. Oh, no. Amazing. Oh, amazing shape right now. I love it. We need it. I mean, it's fun, but it's also stressful with that 20 seconds on the clock. Um, but this is something what I will never have in World Championship when I play, or in, when I play any live match without commentary. This is like never happening. I'm never, never being short on time. Because I always want to have time in these, these moments where it matters. See, I mean, at 0 0, it doesn't matter to lose some time. I mean, you can make a mistake there, but don't lose time. I mean, don't, you, sure, use time. But don't lose all the time. What's this? Um, okay. Hoping he rolls a 6 with not a 1, not a 2. Uh, okay. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, we are just moving the checkers as best as we can. We left that 6-5, which I, I don't think there was a play where we didn't have to do that. I don't know. Ay ay. This is not good. Hmm. We don't mind if he escapes with one because then we can trap. So that would be fun. Now we enter. Oh, not good. Now we don't want him. Now we don't want him to go. We need to enter first. Then he can roll a six. Then he can roll a six. But first we need to enter. Five is good, and I actually want to go for the double six, or... No, I don't think I want to be getting hit. Yeah, I don't think I would want to be on the bar. Four, for sure, and two. I'm controlling everything. If he rolls a six, he's not going to like it. This is our time. No six, please. Oh, no, this is like the worst. This is like the worst, and we are short on time. Oh no, I, I made a mistake, I think. Uh, think I could have made a mistake there. I have not realized that I could stay back as well. Or I would be in a good shape basically every single time. Um, not sure, but we'll be happy to check it afterwards. Anyway, it turned out... Alright, I guess we will probably win two points and we will go to the last game. Unless we will get some troubles now, which seems like we will not. We will still try to push for the gammon. I mean, there is like still a chance we could win the gammon. Seems good. So far, so good. Oh, wow. Let's go. Dance. One double. One double and it's realistic. I think we need the double, but let's go. Oh, 2 1. Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. Wow. We did it. Hang on, what? Oh, no. Jesus. 0 0.02. Oh, no. Oh, 
Okay, that hurts. Pone. Kg. GG. Five minutes. So now we will have a five, I hope five minutes break and yep, sounds good. We will have five minute break. So we will have, be able to look at the, look at the mistakes. Oh, okay. So let's see. Well played, Will. So let's look at some big mistakes. Yeah, this is the 5-2 from Will, where that risk reward really did not, did not work. Since it's six numbers, which will lose the game immediately if I manage to hit. For what reward? It's basically, I mean, you're having a great structure. You will not be leaving shots. You will not have awkward structure as mentioned, and it will just play nicely anyway. So you don't need that 11 point as will, it will not bring you a good gain. Double take was easy. Zero two, nothing happened. This is all clear. I'm just interested in this. Yeah, it was a clear double, clear take. We'll get very good decisions before by not cubing knowing that at the score five away he should not cube and then everything was just standard i i kind of don't like this because well i just feel like this is a x3 three, three ply mistake i mean sure six four can be right and maybe it will be right but it just seems like a three ply mistake i mean this is this is nothing this doesn't make any sense so disappointed with this if that's a three ply mistake which I believe it is. Okay, 6-4 we ran. We could have doubled this. This was a small double based on 3-ply again. Now I guess we would need to use the XG, XG analysis because, um, yeah, disappointing, but okay, 0-5. This is a mistake. Oh, wow, look at this beautiful play. So Will should have actually played with 2 up. I didn't see anything wrong with the way it uh, way it played. But yeah. If he just clears the eight, then he's gonna be the one in trouble and actually turned out to be that way. 4-2 by the way. From that blunder challenge, you see I'm learning. I'm not making the mistakes all over again. And double pass, that was good. 1-5, just double take. This was easy, this was all standard. Oh yeah, what about that 4-2? That 4-2 was same as mentioned. I mean, the only thing which we need to look at was how my fives play and everything just played nice except 5-2. But I mean, that is just balanced with the thing that I'm clearing from the back, which is better for me. So again, it makes sense as it's just the same thing. Where did we make a mistake? I mean, oh, that last game. Oh, damn it. Yeah, okay. As mentioned, I would cube anything except double fours, four three, and three two. When the three two has been rolled, I just cubed anyway because Yeah, I mean I just didn't want to be missing cubes. That's that's it. I don't think I should have done that, but alright. I like this play. I mean 39 just makes beautiful sense at the score. I I'm not sure. Well I would probably do that at any other score because again. I just like it. it just makes sense gives your opponent tough decision and you're you're having a great board opponents got nothing 39 is just that's the thing oh now it's where it started hmm. okay so first i mean not first but mistake of this game actually very interesting and i like this idea and i use it a lot and that's the thing that I can be splitting any time, and I can do with I can do it with better things than just the one. I mean, one doesn't make anything. I can be splitting with twos and threes, and that will actually do me something. Now that once I just got vulnerable, and I was not making anything, and this was just hmm, that was disappointing. But where is that six five? Okay, that six five was. Good, I mean, the best. Let's see. 16, 10, 9, 4. What did I play? Oh, okay. So, the way how I was thinking about this position is I don't care about gamins, right? That's. We have to set this straight. I just don't care about them because if I lose two points or four points, I just lose the match anyway. 
So I could of course go bananas and play 16 and 9 to 4, which is for the record also the best play. But I thought that if I play 9 to 4, I'm just gonna give him so many more numbers, so many more. Because all the fours, 3 1, double 1, double 2, 3 6, now it's like no, 6, 7, 8, doesn't matter, you just feel it, it's way more. And if I just play 16, 10, 11, 6, if he rolls a 6, that's the way how I want to do it. I don't want to play something like 16-5. Then if he rolls a 6, I've got no chance. 0, nothing. If I play 16-10, 11-6, he rolls a 6, I can come in, I can cause him some trouble later. The chance is not 0. And if he misses me, I've got the best power, most power. So that was nice. Unlucky at the end that we didn't get more decision. I think we would have needed one more decision to win the battle on three ply. And yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, we don't know how it is, but I mean, we don't care about PR. It's just, it's just, uh, it's just fun. But uh, very well played, Will. And looking forward to next match, which we are about to start now. I hope I can do that, and you will be able to see it. Oh, yeah, you are. So seven points normal time and let's go very close as expected we're trying to do the challenge right let's try to text him okay. sorry can't play Waiting for the second match. We need to get that 0.02 revenge. Revenge. Am I still there? Okay, so while we're waiting, at least I'll tell you a little bit about the World Championship. Uh, the World Championship starts, well, there's a, there are some warm-up events and some Monte Carlo Open starting on 22nd or 23rd. Uh, I'm going to be coming there on 22nd, trying to prepare uh, mentally and just relax the day before, before it starts. I believe the main event, the World Championship starts. Oh, we need to start again. The World Championship starts like two or three days later, so like 25, 25th, 26th, and okay, Will is ready as well. And I'll try to do some updates and get something planned, which should work, which where you will be able to see a lot of updates and even some insights from the tournament room and how it works, how it is, how the tournament looks like and so on. Good match, and let's go. 5-2. Everything works, camera is on, good. Double force, making the 9, making the 20, and 10-6, I guess. You've got the attacking structure, which is nice. You will be able to create anything. Making the anchor is very important, especially when it's the best. You're basically weakening my structure, my everything. With this 3-2, I've actually seen many times the idea, I don't think this is the idea where I just want to fight for the 5. I think I can... I Could I just get stuck there? I mean, do I want to get stuck there? I think I want, I just want to have the anchor. Five three, two 2 down, creating even better attacking structure. 6-5, so this is a 6 and... This is clearly the case, well, not clearly the case, but this is the case where I just don't care about getting hit, especially when the 2 is in many ways duplicated, like 6-2, 4-2, uh, can be used in, in a good way over there. I think I can still do the structure, I mean, this is what I care about, I don't care about getting hit, you see? I mean, it's like 2-1 and now, like, what? I mean, I don't even get hit, and, I mean... It's correct that I don't get hit, 
but that's why I could have 4 to make the 4 point, because the hit just doesn't hurt me, because most of the time I'm not even getting hit. 4-3. That's a decision. I don't think this is good. I mean, I'm just getting smashed there. The problem is I just don't want to do this either. I just don't think I can do it now. I just don't think so, but I mean, usually proves me wrong, but this was just, I mean, what was not killing me there? I really want to be staying on the 13, but I just can't with that all. I mean, I'm just allowing him to go out, of course, but I don't think there is anything I could do. 3-1. This is a question. If you play 5-1, you keep the nice 5 prime, but the structure, yeah, structure would not be nice. So this for sure makes sense. I'm keeping the structure, keeping the anchor, keeping the dangerous structure, so if he escapes with 1, I don't have many, liabi many liabilities, I don't have many bots there. 6-4 is just the way to go. This is the thing where I take the initiative, control the outfield. This is what? Just letting him go to the outfield? Nope. We have to be the one who's gonna take the risk. Of course, he can hit us, but now we've got a sweet reward where we are just controlling the outfield and he's, got the, he's the one who's having the problem with the five-point anchor as he can't advance. Anyway, we can't cube. We're waiting to be up in the race by something and then we can reevaluate when we are behind Open and get the 5 point anchor, you just don't cube. You just don't cube. What's. Very nice, very interesting. Huh. Interesting. I mean, this change, can this change something? I would not be doing that. I mean, I've got, suddenly I've got some market rules. Like, if I roll one with something what covers, he dances, that's awesome, I'm winning a gammon. If I pick and pass, if I make the five, if I just roll a seven, I think like... I want to say, should we punish, but what if it's the right play? Um, I just think that I've got the power. Scared now, but let's see. One, two. Hmm. So the first instinct is this, just leaving one, six, one, one. That seems the best for now. We are not doing something like this, that's crazy. I think this is just the only play. Yep. This is the only play, just one six one one. Seven ones. Making the prime or going for the big gammon? Just making a prime. We need to win this game first. We need to secure the game and now we can go for the second block. Which we do we by maximizing our chances to hit it. Hoping he still dances. And we're picking it up. Nope. Actually, I'm going to try this again. Trying to distribute the triggers. Fives here, sixes, four, threes here. Don't know if it's that if that's right, but that's what we have to try. This is kind of perfect if he doesn't roll the ace. Good. So far, so good. So far, so good. Way better start than the last match. Okay. Going for the gammon once again, and really going for the gammon. I like to do this when he's got two checkers on the bar, since if he would have entered on the five, and by any chance, uh, we would have rolled like six, one, five, one, double one. We would have picked up and played for the gammon once again. 
I just go for the gam and I don't care. I go for the gam and I don't care. 3 1, alright. I mean, we won the gam last, last time. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't win the gamut now. It's just the flow you are having, you know? I mean, when you are on the roll, when you're just winning, winning points, winning gamuts, sometimes it doesn't. I mean, sometimes that just doesn't work, you know? But it just... <laughs> sometimes it does, so... You have to always stay positive, you know, and think that you're gonna do it. It's a little disappointing when it doesn't, but... It's always good to win two points. 4-2, 5-3. We you, you oh by the way, one thing. You can never complain if you win the game. You can't you can't complain that you don't win the game. That's um what should the other guy complain about then? That, I mean you shouldn't complain at all, but we all we all complain sometimes. Not just out loud, but we complain to ourselves. Uh, no cube still. 4 1. Can't hit. I have to split. And do 1. I don't like. I don't like to play 8 7 as that just giving him 3 5. So. I mean, why not just this? I don't think. I mean, this is the play what makes sense. So. I really wanted to play the 4 there. Of course, I could play 39, 24, 23, but it just. Boring. I don't know. That would be just boring. Alright. One, two, three, four. We are sprinting to the finish line. What's the race? So before... Okay, we'll just wait until it updates. Uh, what would it be? What's that? It would be, It's going to be 11 pips. I managed to count it, I hope. So 11 pips up. 11 pips up. But same situation like before, we are 5 away, we are 5 away, so his take point is really low. So even if we roll 5-3, then it's gonna be a nice decision. Now it's a very easy decision, even if it's a... And this is not a double, I don't think. This is not... 1, 2, 3, 4... What am I leaving? 5-3? Only 5-3? That looks promising. This is what? I'm gonna be leaving a bunch of shots, 6-5, 5-4, these kind of things. Let's just do this. Let's just do the right thing, okay? Let's just do the right thing for once. I was about to queue because the race lead was great. Now, my race lead disappeared. So, we're not queuing it. This is a decision which should be clear. This is 5 2 and 4 3. This is just 5 3. This, so this should be clear. We are still not cubing. We need to be up in the race. There are no gamins. We need to be up in the race or we need to have a nice prime. But still, what, what are the market losses? Double 4? Sure, but we don't care. We put him on the bar. If he dances, we cube fast. And now we cube fast, and now we give him the decision. He's 7 pips up, and his state point is low. The problem is, this is very hard to win. Because I'm gonna bring 2 checkers down, and he needs to roll the farm instantly. Inst I, said the, I said the word correctly in the first match, I hope. Instantaneously. Instantaneously. Something like that. Um, instantaneously, instantaneously, just instantly, maybe it's instantly, I don't know, uh, okay, 3-0, I think it was a pass as well, 4-way, four 4-way four score where our gamins are just maximized, makes the 4, makes the 11, we need to anchor up, but we don't do with this throw, even when we can, we're just doing, this is not rack, right, rack is, you call rack something else, this is just a nice thing. This is just a nice 4 prime. 6-5. So which which checker am I escaping? If I do this... <laughs> sure, that's okay. What if I do this? Feels like, well, again, I'm going to do this play as... With this play, I'm not having power in my next throw. 
I may be on the bar. If I do this, I've got flexibility, I've got a bunch of numbers working on, I'm not gonna be on the bar. Let's just do this. Why should we, why should we be voluntarily on the bar? 45, 145, not yet, 1, 2, 3, 4. If he doesn't anchor up, and this time we will, we will, we will keep the promise. If he anchors up, we will not cube. Oh, what's that? I mean, we really want to escape. We really do. Eight numbers, nine numbers making that five point. I mean, if he makes the five point, he makes the five point. If he doesn't, then we want to be there. <laughs> I mean, if he doesn't make the 5, we want to be there. If he makes the 5 point, it's bad anyway. So let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just try. 3, 2. Now you have to fight. We got some contact. If we roll the 5, we're the winners. And we're back to the start. Yeah. And if he hits us and it doesn't work, sure, no problem. We are on the ace anyway. We would have been there anyway, right? 5, 2 makes the 3. And there we go. Another try, another try to escape, and we're finishing the game. This is double pass. Let's cube, let's pass. No way to take, I don't, this is not too good. 4-2. This is like deja vu, but from the other, from the, from the other side. Now I know what Will was, what Will has been experiencing the last game. 4 is this one, I hit. Alright, we've got ourselves a nice structure. Well, we are winning 4-0, so maybe we just don't do the thing which we would do at 0-0. But it's just so, so nice and so powerful with all these checkers here. I'm just getting hit or he's anchoring up like this. I don't want to anchor up. Okay, I hit and I hit this one as well. I don't. I, I don't. We don't want to do the fancy stuff now. The thing is, if we would have gotten hit here, we are making the bar point. If we don't get hit, we've got the power in our row. Mm, now we adjust. Now we adjust to the score and we don't hit. Now we just, we're just done. We just want to turn it into the simple game. Let's get the anchor. Let's, let's just finish it. We could hit, sure. We could enter on the ace, but it's not our thing. We are 4-0 four zero, four zero up. That's what we're doing. 6-3 is actually interesting. It seems like you could be fighting for the 4-point, which I would like. The other thing would be to escape from the 3-point, but why? Would you give me so many powerful rolls and just giving me the initiative? So, yeah, the right play should be. 5-2 is good. Fighting, fighting, fighting. Fighting, fighting, fighting. Anchoring up finally, and now trying to go forward. We're up in the race, no reason to stay on the 24. Oh no, ah! Damn it. We missed the hit, we could have hit there. Oh, damn, we could have hit. And this is what happens. This is what happens. So, so, this is not what you should do. When you can hit, you should not overlook, overlook the hit. Wow, now I can't even talk. Yeah, that hit really cost me and now... This is when you're talking about the anchor, how you want to do it so bad and you're finally making it after three rolls and then, well, we should have actually hit. We could have actually hit. Uh, so miss that and okay well anyway i mean this can happen this can happen well this shouldn't happen and this doesn't happen <laughs> but when this happens let's just try to forget it because it should not affect the rest of our game right so okay it happened let's continue and let's try to play our best we made a mistake we didn't see it at the moment but okay <laughs> but it's really a serious mistake because okay. Um, so back to the game. We're winning 
So now we are trying to, we will not overlook hits and we will still try to turn it into the not volatile game. We will try to have this holding game and try to turn it into the racing game, but we are not overlooking hits like this. We're just hitting. When we can hit, we do. When we can hit, we do. We can hit, we do. Oh, well can hit also. <laughs> and when we can make the anchor without <laughs> without missing the hit, we also do. Okay. We get our anchor back. Our valuable anchor which we paid so much to have it. Alright, alright. That was a, that was not good. Well, now we can hit. And we actually will hit. Otherwise it's not good. Otherwise it's not good. Don't think this is a cube. I mean even if if we get hit, even if we get hit, we will probably enter, right? So unless it's like double force or four two followed by a miss. There's nothing in there. I, it's just so much, oh, so long way to go. But all right. Now it's, uh, it's of course like too good, which is not good for us because we don't get decisions, but well, how big of a mistake could it have been? Could it have been? Well, it will not be big. Because we are winning in the score, can be like 150, 200. I would be very sad if it's bigger. Well, what happened, happened. So, what's the idea of Will's game now? Definitely fighting for, the, for any point, he doesn't want to let me anchor. Is this the fancy switch? What is it, banana split, banana hit? Maybe this is not banana hit, but this is just banana switch, I don't know. That 4 2 4 one, that's definitely what Will is considering. And I think it just is the only play what makes sense. Uh, 4 2 4 one, you're giving me just the two. You're only unhappy if I roll a two. If you do anything else, then you're unhappy if I roll a one and if I roll a two. So I don't think. I think that was not the right play. But, I mean, it's tricky with that cube, with the cube. Okay, one, staying on the 24, one, two, three. Okay, I would not escape with the five anyway, so I may as well do this. Okay, I still pass. Okay, good that we just lost one, lost one point and off to the new game. Off to the new start. Um, should we be slotting this? No duplication, but it makes some sense. Like, we don't care also about being hit. We could do this. at the, Again, we should be adjusting at the score. Like, at 0-0, zero, zero, I probably wouldn't care to do this. Now, now I'm uncertain. I'm uncertain, but maybe I just did a bad thing, but I mean, usually you would just want to do when, when you don't care about being hit, why wouldn't you slot? And at zero, zero, I wouldn't really care. This time I wasn't sure because, because at this score, I just don't like to have that game, but maybe it was just Good anyway. 3 2, I just would like to play 2 down here to maximize just everything. Like, if I if I don't hit those, if I don't, don't hit those fly shots, I'm getting cubed. Here, I'm just getting cubed, and it's going to be a very, very tough, tough decision. I don't think I can hit. And this is the trouble. This is the cube, and I'm not sure whether I'm taking or passing. He's gonna make the five. Well, he's six away. 
He is six away. He makes a five point. I will make a point. He's making another point. I will not make another point. Mm. Why can't I just pass? I mean, I just don't like this game. Why can't I just pass? I mean, what's... What's stopping me from passing when I don't like the game? It's not against the law to pass the game which you don't like. At that six away... The thing is that six away, the two points are super valuable for him. Now I let him to five away, which is alright. It's some way of minimizing, fighting for the four. Makes sense. I hope I just don't miss anything anymore. Hit. No cube. I will, I'm not going to be cubing lightly at the score. Yep. 3-1. I would like to enter on the three point, but at the same time you're gonna get attacked a lot. But I think you need to take that line because I'm gonna be building. I, I, I'm about to try to build a seven point, maybe four point, maybe these kind of outside points. So for that reason, I believe you should irritate me, and this is a beautiful way, by the way. Um, this is a beautiful way how to irritate me and how to just prevent me from doing the four point with some outside shots and just put maximum pressure on me. I like that play a lot. I like that logic. 5-2, even though you're behind, or not behind, but not up in the race by a lot, you just escape. You just don't want to be there, you want to irritate me outside, it's tough for me to hit you nicely. I think that's the thing, 4-2. And this is all in. Hitting with one is clear. I can do this, which is very nice. I get hit with one, eight numbers plus four or five. That's ten numbers. If I do this, that's like level thirteen or something. Thirteen numbers. So this is the play. This even looks nice. It's powerful. He just if he rolls two, four, one, four. Mm. I just don't like it. At the score, again, I don't have to go bananas. I can just keep my game. A risk reward. 10 shots against 13. And actually, 8 7? If I, I think Will is going to play 8 7. And that's. This is the thing we're talking about. This is. Um, what we've tr what we've tried to do in the last last match as well, just trying to get off the anchor because I'm not happy hitting him. He he maybe likes I me, mean, not that he likes it because if I'm hitting, then of course I have to like it. Otherwise, I'm not gonna hit. But he's give he's having such a great great reward for making that point. If I don't hit, and if he hits, he just doesn't care. Six three. I'm not a. I don't want to leave a shot. I mean, I don't want to lose the 13 as well. I don't want to have liabilities. If you lose a 4. Alright. Let's not waste time on this anymore. I wouldn't be certain, I'm sure about that. I would not be certain and I got no time to spare. I want to save my time as well. 5-2 is good, 6-4. This, this is the case where we need to escape, but how? I guess just this, otherwise it would be suicide. This can turn out well. I can get missed, I can, when I get hit, I can hit back. This is what this is what we want to do. And moment of truth again. That's not the moment of truth. That's 
walk of shame. Uh, we can't take it. We can't. We won, but we can't. Two, one. Let's get back to aggressive mode. Let's get back to aggressive mode. Now, every point, every game matters. We're fighting. We're not missing anything. We're just fighting and we, we don't want to have... We don't want to be making anchors, but... Okay, I'll slow down. I will slow down. I give up, you win. Six, three. This is nice. This looks nice. This makes some sense. I'm irritating him over here on the 18 point. I don't care when he hits me because I'm gonna hit back. 11, 8. Putting the checker when I wanna have it, where it has a value. And it's just good. Entering on the ace is clear. I don't wanna get stuck, but. I mean, I don't want to have... What do I want here? What do I want? Jesus. Um, interesting. My instinct was just to go to the 21, but... For some reason, I just decided to play the... The other play. And there we go! Hitting the fly shot. This is gonna be some hitting ex exchange. We really hope to make that 10 point. We really wanna make that 10 point so we have some kind of nice, uh, nice block here because he's gonna have a bunch of checkers back. 10 point, we could really use it. We can't, we can't make it. What we can do is a lot of stuff actually. Oh. Uh, this is good, I like it. One, two. This is two. Five, three, double five, double six. Actually, this makes some sense. I don't care that much about getting hit there. Oh god. Hmm. Okay. This is going to be an interesting game. I I really don't want to miss anything, so I'll just focus mostly. Six one duplicated, giving myself most builders. I think this is a, this is very close to cube. I think Will has to be very very close to the cube. I mean, he's got such a great game now. I don't like it from my for my side. Oh Jesus! Four three. I don't know. Oh, I don't like my game now. I don't like my game. I can lose a game and kinda easily. Double sixes, six one five, two six five. I'm in very bad shape. Oh. Probably Will is able to advance to the 18 point as he doesn't have anything else which would not break his structure. Double sixes is good. I really like the roll. This is something what Puts me in a in a taking shape for a long, long time. We will not see the cube for 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 some for some time. This is great. Now it seems like there are no gamins or very low gamins. So perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, shouldn't be wasting time. If it wasn't Q before, which I'm not sure, I think it was close, then it can't be now. I'm coming out just because I have to come out anyway at some point, and at least now I can have some control. I don't, again, I don't break my structure by playing 6-1, it's just, I'd be too vulnerable, 
and yeah just not good can't do that this is what this is nothing whoops i said i don't want to play 6-1 but what else can i play blinking the eighth point i don't think i want to break the eighth point because now he's about to leave this point right he's about to leave the point and if i break the eight i'm just gonna have a two now I can have one and the two. That's like a huge difference there. So good matches we're having. These two matches are really cool. I mean, so many complicated games, including easy games like holding games, getting to the races, of course. But this is really fun. Really, really fun. 6 4 just bringing it in. Yeah, this is going to be the race we've talked about, just the holding game, just the question who rolls the double first, who rolls double fives, double sixes. We're behind in the race for now, so that puts us in a position where we'll be probably the ones catching and getting the shot first. Mm, just something to play, I don't know. That looks okay, as I'm not leaving anything. He can afford this because I was never about to leave a shot, maybe except 6-5. Ooh. I'm fine to leave this as just, just it's just 4-2 and double 2 what I don't like. 4-3 is pretty much okay since I'll get a shot if he decides to hit. Way better than when I would just play 9, 4, 9, 8. Let's go. Let's hit and win the gammon. Damn. I can't take it now. I can't. I won't. I want to take it so bad. But I'm just losing a gammon if he does a 4. I mean, not that I'm losing it, but there's a very good chance that I will lose it. This is a double hit. 3-way, three 3-way. Three we're gonna try to get the cube in when we are in a good position. We're gonna be a little bit more aggressive than usual. Then at zero zero. Five four. Is it this play? It may be. Or it's just boring this one. Let's do the boring one. Let's do the boring one for once. Didn't miss anything. 6-5. Does he make an interesting... Oh, this is a nice one. 5-1. Let's go. Miss. Oh, that's a big hit. That's a big hit. Oh. I mean, I would like to enter on the fight, but I'm just getting attacked every single time. And I would be under pressure every single time under pressure. Jesus, this is not good. Not good at all. I really don't like my position. I just... These are very, very hard to evaluate. We need to improve. Improve immediately. That's what we're getting. This is one option, we need to analyze fast, one option. Six is duplicated, otherwise we have a very strong position. But this seems like the superior thing. Maybe we, oh, we, well actually we could have maybe, maybe do that. Hmm. Very interesting decision there. Very interesting the double ones, because if we didn't roll six, we were actually like winners there. But anyway, we've got this position, 3-way, three 3-way, three and if we get some market losers, if he hits us, I think we are cubing. If he plays 13-2, to two, I think we can still wait. But if he hits us, well, it seems like a correct play. <laughs> oh god, 3, if I roll 3, it's good. Ooh, it's tough. I'm just gonna cube. I'm just gonna cube. I mean, I like it. Like, if I roll three, it's awesome. 
If I don't, so what? So I'll dance, and I'll just end the next time. It's okay. Oh. Then maybe I was about to make a big mistake. Still think it was a take, but yeah, I mean, I mentioned that at the beginning of the game, at the score, you do want to be, I want it to be aggressive because the take point is just, I mean, after it combines everything, it's just high. So yeah. Okay, now I'm going to just pass this. I don't think I'm taking this. No, I'm just I'm just dropping. I'm doing I'm doing the same thing. I just pass. And we're off to the last game. This is going to be the last game. 6-5 is the right play in DMP. I'm just gonna turn the cube. And let's go. 6-3. So we're making the five point. We're taking this advantage. We're not hitting. That's just that would be anybody's game. We're taking the five point, we're going for it, we're up in the race, we're running, escaping. That's the thing we're doing last game of the of the day. 6-3 is interesting. I'd like to step up just with a three, because that gives us more most chance the big best chances to escape. And then just 13-7. If you run all the way, you risk getting hit and losing the game. If you run to the 18, the same thing. If you just step up to the 21, it's perfect. If I hit you, you get your chance. If I don't hit you, you get your chance. Win-win for you. All right, so I'm hitting. And we're praying. That works. That works well. It's tough. I'm inclined to just enter on the... I can play save, but it's blocks. Ooh. Yay. It got a little problem, but okay. I mean, risk reward. I mean, now I can just finish the game if he doesn't roll a six, and if he draws a six, I'm okay. So I think that was just. Oh god, good, good move. One. I'm up. I'm up 16 pips. 16 pips up. So, I don't want to leave a shot. Very good draw, very good draw. Six two, I think now you're just escaping as you just don't, you don't, you're not getting anything. If I hit you, you get your ace shot. Yep, yep, yep. It's going to be the race, it's going to be the race where we are up, we are favorites, but we still need to escape this kind of, this troubling point. And there we go. 20 pips ahead, let's go. Let's finish with the style. I wouldn't mind double sixes, by the way. It doesn't have to be the last throw, one check left. It can be just smooth finish. Winning a gammon from the race. There we go. Four, one. We've got already a lot of excitement. We don't need to have a game, have a finish for viewers. 6-1. Still in a very good shape. 80-85% favorites, I guess. 1-2, and I'm just gonna play it this way. 3-2. So far, so good. So far, all's good. Can't complain while I'm winning. Can't complain while I'm winning. I'm gonna keep on... Keep
this one yes so far so good i mean now it's a little sweat in monte carlo in dmp this is going to be a big sweat i force beautiful beautiful and now this is the beautiful finish with double sixes one two three four okay good matches very good matches we got lucky okay this this is the double sixes yeah this is that overlook which we made Well, let's see and analyze, but that overlook, well, not sure how big it will be, but let's see. Let's see, let's go over the mistakes, yeah. This 6-4, we had to cube afterwards. I mean, we tried to cube, it was still a no double. Oh, these double ones, we should have played. Okay. Maybe, oh, maybe for the gammon, so we pick up even those checkers. Okay. Because if you just roll. Okay, so the mistake I made here, and I just didn't consider at all. If I make that 5 point and play 3 2 2 as I did, the, the bad thing is, what if he just rolls a 1? Then I'm not winning a gammon, and I'm actually having some problems, right? So that's why I should have hit 2. Not. That's, that's the reason I didn't look at. Wow, we played so many games. We played 10 games. That was a long thing. This was a take. Oh, interesting. Uh, where is that overlook? Over. Jesus, another oversight. Oh, I didn't see making this five point. Oh, wow. I really talked a lot in this game. Wow. Wow, and this one I didn't even see that I could make. This was just a blackout. I mean, this was just a blackout game, yeah, 150. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah the 3 2 was 4 1 4 2. Oh, I just made some bad mistakes, and this was a big take. Okay, this is, this hurts because this is, I thought it's going to be maybe a small pass, but it's obvious, it's a, it's a very big take. It's a very big take. I mean, it just, it can be anybody's game. What if he doesn't make a point? I will make a point easily. I can just irritate him. This was not a good decision by me. This was a big mistake. This was a big mistake. Mm, hitting twice. Messed up on that. What did I do wrong then? I didn't realize how big, how powerful it is. How powerful it is to just hit twice here. Because he just... If I just do 10, 5, 10, 9, he's just about to anchor, uh, he's just about to enter, and I've got nothing, nothing at all. If I hit twice, sure, if he hits me, I'm not that good. But if he doesn't, it's way better than I thought. It's way better than I thought. Yeah, this was no decision. I mean, no difference. Ooh. Oh, the race. So I made a mistake here, which is again a big blunder. And the way how to think about this is you can run in cases where you don't get hurt by getting hit. But I get hurt a lot by getting hit because I will lose the race. I'm actually just five pips behind after this throw. So that's why I really get hurt by getting hit like that. So then it was all right, double pass. 4 4. This was a this was interesting decision. Yeah, I shouldn't have left a shot. Okay, it was a it was oh wow. Yeah, 13 2. It was a small take. 5 4. This was just a pass. In 5 5. Nothing there. Wasn't it? Wasn't something there? No, there was nothing. Yeah. Okay, it was all. Oh, everything was the same. Well, very interesting and very, very long matches. So if you've made it to the end, well, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed and, well, enjoy blunder challenges and positions of the day until the Monte Carlo, which is happening in two weeks. 
I'm gonna practice some more because I really have to. I can't be overlooking things. Thanks to Will for playing two matches with me on the stream. And well, see you soon. Bye bye.